In this video, we're going to explore how to subtract mixed numbers when we have to borrow. Okay, so what are we going to do? When I see mixed numbers like this, the first thing I like to do is I am going to write it to the side. So let me get myself some room here. So I'm going to do 5 and 2 thirteenths minus 3 and 3 thirteenths. Now, what are we going to do next? Well, the next thing we check is uh, do we have common denominators? Well, what does that mean? Well, do the bottoms of our fractions ma match? Yes, perfect. The next thing we check, is this number smaller than this number? Because we need to subtract 3 thirteenths. We can't take 3 thirteenths from 2 thirteenths. So how do we fix that? Well, in any subtraction that some things are happening that we need to fix, we are going to use a technique called borrowing. So we're going to take one whole off of the 5. And so if we take one off of there, it's going to become a 4. Now what do we do next? Well, we have taken one whole, and we have to say to ourselves, well, how many thirteenths could we cut that into? Well, you can cut that into 13 pieces. So you always, it's always a little trick here, you can always add the denominator you got to the top. So I'm going to add 13 thirteenths. Okay, so now that I have that written a little different, that's going to be then, that's the same as 15 thirteenths. Okay, now we're ready. So now let's check it one more time. Do we have a common denominator? Check. Perfect. Is this number smaller than this number? Check. Is this number smaller than this number? Check. We're ready to go. Okay, now that we have everything ready, let's do our math. So let's subtract these. So 15 thirteenths minus 3 thirteenths, just subtract. 15 minus 3 is 12. Now you always do the subtraction for the top and you keep that denominator. That denominator is not going to change. Now let's subtract these. 4, now remember we've changed it to a 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. So we have 1 and 12 thirteenths. Now that's our answer. I always kind of check, is there anything that I can do to this? 12 thirteenths cannot change. So, um, I'm going to leave it, and that is our final answer. So our answer is 1 and 12 thirteenths. I hope that helps when you needed to uh, borrow in a mixed number. Um, if you like this video and it helped you, please like it for me, and if you could then uh, subscribe to our page. Thanks. Bye.